Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve another numerical on the applications of definite integral in economics or the applications of integral calculus in economics. The question is, given i of t is equal to 90 to the power 1 by 2, where i is the net investment and t is the, this t is the time period, find the level of capital formation in 8 years. We have to find the level of capital formation in 8 years from the given investment function, that is net investment function. Now, net investment, as we know, is the rate of change in the capital stock formation over a time. Here, the time is t, what the value of t is here, air. Now, from the level of investment, that is from the rate of investment, we can find the level of capital formation by the relation. The relation is that is capital formation, capital formation is equal to the definite integral of the net investment so i will write here net investment with respect to time so to find the capital for uh, to find the capital formation we integrate the given net investment function with respect to time so the solution here will be that is we denote this capital formation by k so i will write here k this k is equal to the definite integral of the given investment that is from 0 to t from 0 to the time period t of the investment investment function with respect to time now here this is 0 and our uh, time period is 8 and we integrate this uh, net investment function that is t1 by 2 now this will become integrating the mm, sorry i will write here with respect to time so capital stock or capital formation is equal to the definite integral of the net investment over with respect to uh, time here that is we integrate this uh, net invest, net investment function from the uh, integral from the lower limit 0 and 8 now integrating this will become now 9 is as it is 9 is constant so we place this outside the integral so this is here 0 to air t 1 by 2 d t here now this is equal to 9 now uh, integration of t to the power 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 as we have seen in the earlier videos the uh, rules of integration and we will evaluate it from 0 to air so this will become here that is 9 uh, t 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 from 0 to air so this is equal to 9 divided by 1 and transposing this on the denominator we will get it reciprocated so this will become 2 by 3 uh, and here it is t 3 by 2 from lower limit 0 and air so here is 3 1 the 3 3 the so 3 uh, 3 1 the 3 uh, 3 the 9 so 3 2 the is here 6 so I will write here 6 now we will uh, evaluate this t from the upper limit add and subtract from it uh, the uh, this t and evaluate it at, at 0 that is that is in place of t we write 8 3 by 2 and from the um, from this we subtract this t but evaluating at 0 so here it is 0 3 by 2 now it is here 6 it is Take us into here air 3 by 2 so it is here air 3 by 2 now here it is a 0 uh, raised power anything is 0 so it is minus 0 here now this will become 6 it is here 6 now this can be written as uh, into 8 uh, into air raised power 1 by 2 because here bases are same powers are added if we add these two terms so here the mm, exponent is one so this will become one plus one by two two ones are two plus that is three by two we will get uh, this um, so we have broken this in this form that is eight into eight one by two so now if we multiply these two we will get that uh, uh, this eight three by two now here it is six eight are forty eight now 8 1 by 2 is under root 8 so the level of capital stock 
after eight years is equal to this. Now we can further also manipulate this to get the numerical value. So it is up to you how you will man manipulate it. So this was all about the integration in economics or the use of the definite integral in economics. I hope I made myself clear. Here the power function rule says, I will repeat here, this d1 by 2, it was d1 by 2 and we have to integrate this with respect to time. Now this is equal to t, exponent is 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by the resulting exponent that is 1 by 2 plus 1. Now in